Well, hello there. Thank you for joining us here at Cool's Life. My name is Tony, and I'm here at the President's Hall of Fame in Claremont, Florida. Who would have thought something like this would be in Claremont, Florida? Hmm, not me. I'm sure you saw by the caption that uh, showed Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore is well, over there on the other side of here. <laughs> but uh, we're going to go through this uh, building here. This is, I guess if you're seeing this, I went through it and found something somewhat worthwhile to uh, show you. We're going to go in here because we're just out here living the coolest life. Travel edition. fulfill your life's ambitions and dreams. Although I never went to school more than six months in my life, I always stressed I that education was the most important process that we as a people can pursue. That every man may receive at least a moderate education and thereby be enabled to read the histories of his own and other that. countries by which he may duly well, in this very first room, as you saw from the, uh, they got a dinette set, but as you come through, there is, uh, George Washington. He's said to be 6'2". And then they've got, the, this is actually the building of the, uh, White House. The depiction of that. I'm going to turn this little button on. The lights over there, come on. This guy here starts moving. <laughs> There's some guys hammering. A lot of animatronics in here. So this is the building of the White House. And of course it was it was uh, torched from the uh, the Redcoats. Got it in nineteen in 1812. Then it was quickly rebuilt. This is some of the building of the White House. It's pretty neat. They actually had this at the White House at one time. Um, and they used to move around the country. This and the, uh, the house we're about ready to show you. Oh, that's me. <laughs> So yeah, they got a little uh, place here to sit. You can sit with some of these guys. Ben Franklin, of course, right there. They give you a little, little pen here to sign the Declaration of Independence. I'm not holding this right because this is my left hand. <laughs> but uh, anyway, kind of neat. Some little things you can see. And they've got uh, some videos. Um, I say videos. Don't they've got some different areas that you could you could pose behind like this. Act like you're sitting. Last time I saw one of these was at uh, Madame Tussauds Wax Museum in D.C. They had something like set up like this. Actually, had President Trump here standing behind it. Of course, it's been two years since I've been there. Um, let's take a look at this other room. A lot of different memorabilia. Some of them were donated. These, of course, were donated by uh, Ronald Reagan. Hello, that guy. And they got some casts. Life death mask. Interesting. Abraham Lincoln's. A lot of old wax. And some of the ones they said their heads are kind of moving sideways because they were getting so old. The wax is giving way. We got a video here that plays. So this next room has a whole lot of wax figures. I don't think they're animatronics, but there's a lot of them standing side by side. Lots of different dignitaries and past presidents. And of course, there's Roosevelt up there. They got him standing, which is kind of strange because they had to be propped up because, of course, he had polio and he did all these press conferences. He was actually in his wheelchair. Because sometimes he wore those um, braces. But they've got a lot of Oval Office kind of depictions. And here's the White House itself. I mean, it's huge. You see my wife walking there next to it. They could say, they say it's miniature, but it, it definitely is huge. And the thing about it is, each one of the rooms, they've actually gone inside of the rooms and made these look like the rooms actually are inside. And we're going to see a little cross cut in, the, in just a minute. I'll be getting, on the, getting in on the other side. This is another one of the little rooms. The detail is just really cool. What they've done to it. And this is uh, some of the china that they've had. So something really interesting was uh, the Oval Office itself. They redecorate it every time there's a new president that comes in. Um, 
And so the new prison can add their own flair to it. Furniture, stuff on the side, placement of flags, I mean, just everything. You can see this one here actually has four flags in it. This was a JFK's. The desk itself would be the same. And this is actually from the other direction, but this is when Johnson was in office. See, he's got the older style chairs here. And uh, then Nixon here. Definitely more 70s. It's got that yellow color to it. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Again, they try, they do as best they can to uh, make them look exactly like they were at those times, which was really neat. This is when Gerald Ford was in office. Still the same picture of George Washington in the back there. But a lot of the things in, inside would change. And this, of course, is an exact replica of uh, the um, uh, Oval Office desk. They said there's only two. The other one's actually in the White House. And the other neat thing is, get that guy to get out of my way. Uh, <laughs> so they've got... Uh, this is the, the replica itself, but you can see inside here. Each one of the rooms, these are some of the rooms that you can't go in on a tour. Lots of little side rooms like this for secretary and presses and different people. And then, not only just downstairs, but upstairs. It's just neat that it's, it's like I said, they're exact replicas of the rooms when they went through them. And they're going to change a little bit over time as here's another Oval Office. But even the banquet rooms, which is the press rooms, where they do their, their press conferences, you know, it's actually just off this wing. There's an office. Big uh, place to sit and have a conference in there. So this is the main building here. Normally when you come through the as a, as a tour, I think this might be the floor that you come in. Maybe it's the bottom floor. I can't remember, it's been a while since I've been through the White House. I don't think I did a video of the White House. Of course, it's decorated now for the holidays. Because it's November now. So they threw the Christmas or the uh, Christmas um, decorations in there. So they rede actually redecorate this for each holiday. It's amazing. Just say if you if you're into miniatures, this is this is uh, like the holy grail almost. Because I don't think I've seen a building this size in miniature, especially with so much significance as the White House is. There's the grounds outside. It's another theater room there. It's truly a theater. Nice. You know, they had one in that big long hallway area, but it goes on to the east wing also. That's what this building's main. So the uh, the owner that started this um, actually had this built and was touring the country with this. He was also a fan of the circuses, so he had lots of circus items um, with it. And his kids were like, you know, we should probably separate those. So they donated a lot of circus items. There are some circus items up here, some elephants and some different things. And every now and then you can see little touches of, of circus. There's a big top in one of the other rooms and... There's different things of uh, different presidents. They got basically got a got a box of each one of them, which is pretty neat. There's a bush depiction, and they got this here. It's like an old carriage, Abraham Lincoln's presidential carriage. I think is what that is. It's a definitely a small replica. It's pretty neat. And they got some newer items in here. Really cool though. And of course you're going into the gift shop to get out of here. Look at that picture. I definitely put that together. They, they, I'm sure they didn't pose for that one. <laughs> That's real neat. And Bill Clinton's still talking. <laughs> 
I kind of put them in order, but then they kind of mixed them up a little bit. Well, now, believe it or not, I got the room to myself, so I'm going to do the outro video. Get it? There's an intro, then now there's an outro. So this is my outro video. Uh, thank you for uh, checking us out here. Be sure to check out a playlist that I have. It's called, uh, um, what is it? It's called, anyway, I forget exactly what it's called. I think it's just Travels. Um, but anything that's got, uh, there's also one called Quirky, um, which I don't think I got anything quirky out of this place here. But, uh, except for this, and this is pretty quirky. Um, but the, uh, uh, so you go to the, the main um, YouTube channel and then on there is a playlist and playlists, just select your playlist and it'll give you a group of videos that are for that particular show, I guess you could say, because the channel that we have here, Coolest Life is actually a true channel. There's more than one program on the channel, on, on most channels, and there's more than one program in, in our channel. We've got one on Masonic Buildings, Traveling Quirky, Church Reviews, RV Park Reviews. So if you're into any of those things, just click on that one there playlist and it'll take you through uh, exactly what what that particular genre is about but uh like i mentioned church review see look even at elevation worship church i we were with to i got a video of uh one of their satellite offices or satellite churches satellite churches and not churches not churches thing is there no. the satellite church in um in north carolina but uh Anyway, I'm going to let you go. Be sure to like and subscribe um, and send this to your friends if they might be interested in some kind of, you know, historic looking things like, you know, Oval Office desk. They should come by here in uh, in Claremont, Florida, and they can see this place here. It's really cool. Really cool. Definitely worth a stop. It was $15 to get in. A little steep, but not too bad. We paid it. So now we're going to go up in a Citrus Tower. Be sure to look for that video. I'll hopefully be taking one out of it. Because you're now leaving the coolest life. Travel edition.